Hey, good Saturday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this September the 28th, 2013. Overall, nice day with a breezy northeast wind and on top of that, partly cloudy skies. Can't complain about that. Tomorrow, we may add in a shower or two across eastern North Carolina, but very similar to what we've seen the last couple of days. Some big changes in the forecast in the long range. We'll detail that here in the update video. All right, here's a look at Live Viper 9 this evening. Overall dry across uh, all of the uh, land mass of uh, eastern North Carolina. There are some showers offshore about 40, 50 miles. Uh, they are tracking to the north and not expecting them to make their way towards maybe Hatteras, but uh, maybe one or two sprinkles out that way going through the uh, next couple of hours as that rolls to the north. Overall, we are expecting things to be fairly calm uh, through the overnight hours. A uh, quick nod towards temperatures this evening are already down to the uh, 60s for most areas, low 70s as you head south of US 70 this evening, 70 for Kinston as well as New Bern, 71 for Jacksonville, 68 for Greenville, 66 apiece for Edenton and Elizabeth City. Two points this evening, mainly into the 50s and low 60s, so some nice dry air in place. And we've seen a couple blips on the radar here and there this afternoon. Most of them were basically gobbled up by the dry air at the surface, so nothing doing in that department. Today's high temperatures mainly into the middle 70s, uh, low 70s, uh, um, uh, upper 70s as you head further down to the south. Look at New Bern almost pop, uh, popping up in the 80s. Uh, for your day on Saturday. Here's a look at the uh, satellite and radar. You saw the clouds starting to build in through the afternoon hours. Started off with sunshine. Clouds building in through the afternoon. You see those showers moving southward. Low pressure system down to the south and east of us. That's going to rocket to the north. Could bring down a little bit of moisture in here through tomorrow. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Cold front to the west. You look at that and say, hey, is, are we going to see some rain here coming in the next couple of days? Actually, no. This whole thing's actually going to fall apart as it's getting close to the mountains uh, going in towards uh, Sunday and into Monday. So we're not expecting any rain shower activity for really the next seven days, any substantial rain shower activity over the next seven days, uh, six days rather. Uh, we'll talk about the seventh day coming up here in the seven-day forecast. Here's a look at the precision forecast model and uh, a few sprinkles here and there. And you'll see here by 7 a.m., most areas will maybe see a little bit of fog developing but uh, we'll have to deal with mainly mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies to start and then the clouds will build in through the afternoon. Temperatures tonight into the middle and upper 50s inland along the coast, low to mid 60s, uh, possibly a rogue 70 degree mark right along the immediate beaches. Through the afternoon hours a little note if energy comes off of that low pressure system brings us a chance for some showers maybe a rumble of thunder with one or two of these uh, coming in tomorrow I don't think anybody everybody's gonna get wet maybe 20% of us at best most areas topping out middle 70s and we'll likely go to a mixture of sun and clouds for the remainder of the day for your day on Sunday a few showers may be able to sneak as far to the uh, west as highway 17 but that's about it think most of them will be confined for the inner banks, outer banks, and the uh, finger counties through the day on uh, Sunday. All right, so let's look out towards the tropics. Some interesting things going on here. We've got an area of low pressure has a 50% chance for development. That's the red circle. All, all computer models have this thing basically going to the north. Nothing doing for it. The one to the south in the Caribbean Sea is something that we're actually going to need to watch. It has a 10% chance for development right now, and it's uh, pro uh, projected to move off towards the north and west. Something we're definitely going to have to watch because right now you see that one cold front uh, coming through the central part of the United States. There's another one prog to the west. That's going to be moving in here as we head towards the middle portion of the week. This could meet up and have, uh, have some uh, mischief going on here. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Breezy conditions for tomorrow. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting to 20 to 25 along the coast. We'll keep a chance for a shower about 20%. Middle 70s is the highs. Uh, going in towards Monday, middle to upper 70s. Partly cloudy skies, slim chance for a shower. We'll keep a slim chance for Tuesday as well. We're, up, we're peaking out in the low 80s at that point. Low to mid 80s as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And look at Saturday. We're talking rain chances back in the forecast. And honestly, that 30% is a, is a confidence level uh, precipit uh, pop right now, uh, probability of precipitation. Uh, reasoning why is because the model data is all over the place with this one. Uh, here's a look at the European model. And this has a very strong cold front pushing through the area. This would be valid through the afternoon and evening hours of Saturday. This would be valid at 6 p.m. on Saturday. 
uh, 8 p.m. rather, on Saturday. A lot of rain. We can see new rainfall amounts upwards of one to one and a half inches across our neck of the woods if this was correct. Now we'll turn this around, look at the GFS model. This one has this low pressure system coming close up to us and actually uh, coming ashore somewhere around Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A lot of rain with this one as well. Cold front still prog to the west, so we still have the frontal boundary, but now we have a secondary low pressure system. It all depends on whether or not we have a blocking high pressure system to the north of us. If we do have the blocking high pressure system to the north of us, uh, this will make a big difference in the forecast. I do believe that we're going to get rained on. This would be valid actually at uh, 8 a.m. on Sunday. So there is some differences on timing and what will actually happen. Uh, this is something that we're going to continue to watch over the next couple days. At any rate, expect rain showers, especially on Saturday night into Sunday, but it will depend on which model ends up being right. Obviously, we're seven days out. We've got a lot of time to look at this, and uh, we'll keep you updated on uh, all the uh, social media outlets, also on WNCT.com. That'll do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update. Next update here will be by tomorrow evening. Stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Hopefully you tune in with us this evening after the post-game show, which is uh, wrapping up right now for the LSU-Georgia game. 10 o'clock on CW and 11 o'clock right back on WNCT. Have a great rest of your day and a great weather week.